Okay, so this one we have to first transform uh, to the phasor domain. And our job is to find IA. So um, we're going to take, leave the resistors just as they are. So that is, remains 50. The capacitor um, becomes minus J over omega C. The inductor becomes J omega L. And we have the current source, and uh, we have that up here is 18 cosine 35T plus 75. So it's already as a cosine. So as a phasor, that's going to be 18 angle 75 degrees. And we know that omega is 35. And it is amps, so we don't need to multiply by any prefix. This resistor remains 24. And this inductor um, is going to be J omega, it'll be L2, I'll call that one L1. Okay, so um, this if we um, take a look at um, pause for a second. So um, if we treat this as one impedance and treat this as one impedance and treat this as one impedance, then um, we can say that they're all in parallel. So um, the equivalent impedance is one over one over 50 plus minus J over omega C plus 1 over J omega L plus 1 over 20 L1 plus 1 over 24 plus J omega L2. Now, we know that V equals IZ, and so I equals V over Z, so I will equal V times 1 over Z, and since Z is 1 over all of those things, if I take 1 over that, then that's just going to get me the denominator. So I equals V times 1 over 5 plus minus J over omega C plus 1 over J omega L1 plus 1 over 24 plus J omega L2. I'm just trying to avoid actually doing calculations for as long as I can. Um, what the, the V that I'm talking about is the, if I put the V right here. So if I were to think of this thing as I have my current source and then I have one equivalent impedance right there, then that would be the voltage across that impedance. So I'll call that VA. And now I will go ahead and find this. So I was putting this part off. So it's 1 over 5 plus minus J over, what was omega? It was 35. 35 times the capacitance was 0.02. 
plus 1 over j times 35 times the first inductor is 0.08 plus 1 over 24 plus j times 35 and our second inductor is 0.03 So I have 1 over 5 plus 1, uh, oops, minus J over 35 times 0 0.02, that's my first one, plus 1 over j times 35 times 0 0.08 that's my second one plus 1 over 24 plus j times 35 times 0 0.03 And that should have been a times there. So I equals V times 0 0.2265 minus point minus J times point three zero six one. And I we knew was eighteen angle seventy five. Degrees. So I'm going to take eight. So I'm on the calculator. I'll do open parentheses, 18, and then if I go to my complex menu, second complex, my first thing there is an angle. Angle, 75. Need to make sure I'm in degree mode close parentheses, divided by, and rather than typing that thing in, I'm just going to do second answer. Now I'm going to do second answer rather than going up and copying it, because if I go up and copy it, I would have to put it in parentheses because it's made up of two parts. And then I get this, um, and I will uh, change that to polar. And I'm not getting the right answer. Yeah, that was a 50 and not a 5. So let me, I can change that. Now on this calculator, if you want to insert something, So I want to insert a zero. I press second and delete, and that'll let me insert, so 50. Okay, so that was that number, and then I needed to take, so that was 0 0.061 minus 0.3. Five eight. What's that? Point six two. Yes. And now I need to take eighteen angle seventy five and divide by that. So open parentheses eighteen complex angle seventy five close parentheses divided by second answer. Change that to polar. And I get the right answer. So V is 49.5 
angle 155 degrees. But that wasn't the question. The question was, what is IA? And so IA, I know the voltage right here, and I, the impedance right there is 24 um, plus J omega L2. So using V equals IZ, I can say 49.5 angle 155 equals I times um, 24 plus J times 35 times 0.03. So I can just take this number here, second answer, divided by open parentheses, 24 plus J times 35 times 0.03, close parentheses, and then I'll take this answer and change it to polar. And I get 2 angle 152 degrees, but I'm not quite done. Uh, because this is the phaser, but I need to transform it back into the time domain. So IA is going to equal 2 cosine, open parentheses, 35T plus 152 degrees amps. Or more precisely, 2.06. Questions?